So as I've shown before, uh, the vehicle development process is currently in a transformation and we're going from a V process to a more software centric process. I've also shown that with Cameo, we are in general able to do software or functional testing over all of those environments. And we can import, translate those software requirements and um, system requirements in an automated way inside Cameo. But there is more. Um, as you can see here, on the top part, um, typical for, for software development, there are already a lot of established tools. And the test cases are also defined in lifecycle management tools or DevOps tools. Um, this can be um, like a Jira X-Ray, IBM Doors, uh, a Code Beamer, etc. Also within the software development, there are established pipelines or test automation tools. Also here, just an example like Jenkins or Asia DevOps. But how can we link these now inside a DevOps tool chain to typical automotive test environments and test automation tools? as you see here on the bottom of the slide. As also mentioned before, within the automotive, we have to test the software in combination with the hardware. And this can be um, from starting from software in the loop, going to hardware in the loop, component testbed, maybe a powertrain testbed towards the road. And each of these environments can also have their own automation tool. So how can we link now this top part with the bottom automotive specific tools. Also here, we can link or bridge these environments with AVL Cameo. And I would like to show how we can do this. So with AVL Cameo, we have the possibility to interface with a tool like a Jira X-Ray in this example. And we can be triggered, automated by a test automation tool like a Jenkins or an Azure DevOps. That means whenever there comes a new software or dataset version, Cameo will be triggered by the pipeline um, and look for a free agent. Cameo will start up automatically and starts to read the test case definition from the lifecycle management tool, set up the test cases, execute them and feedback the results automatically to the lifecycle management system. How this works in real, I would also like to show to you in a live demonstration. So what we are looking now at is Jira X-Ray. Within Jira X-Ray, as you remember, this is the top part, the software specific uh, lifecycle management tool. And we're looking inside um, one example test case as it's described. So in this case, the test case is not described in a specific table, but we have here an example with uh, a cucumber uh, syntax, which is uh, machine readable and you can read it as a human, how a test case is described. So here is a test case scenario written. So there is uh, given the UUT temperature is at a, a key value and the brake fuel level is at a key value, etc. And then there is the evaluation. So when the brake fuel level has been measured, then you would the display message should be at a key value. And below you see for each of the key values, then what what are the specific numbers. So each line is, is a specific test case. So here there's 30 degrees UUT temperature, the brake fruit level is low, road gradient is flat, and we expect the displayed message low. Um, yeah, so this is the test case that we want to execute, and we want to do this in a most automated manner. So in this example, we're using Azure DevOps, and yeah, normally the pipeline will be triggered automatically, but uh, for this example, I will be uh, triggering it um, um, manually. And we have a agent 
Um, so this is a um, uh, an environment where we are connected to where the agent is listening for the job that has to be executed. Okay, so I'll trigger uh, the pipeline in this case. And yeah, we can go back to the agent. So it was listening for a job. It already says running a job. So Cameo now gets automatically uh, started. And it will set up a specific uh, sequence with an identical ID. And within this sequence, it will then load those four test cases that it is reading um, from uh, a JIRA X-ray. And it will read the values. Once it has done this, then it will start executing automatically those four example test cases. So it's in pre preparing the environment and now it's running in the first uh, test case. So it will go and set the, the UET temperature. And when the test case is finished, it will send um, um, uh, the result back. So this is the first test case. The first one is finished, then it will go to, to the second one. And we can switch back and go back, for example, to Jira X-Ray. And if I make a refresh, we say the test run status is executing. So the test run is ongoing. Uh, within the results, you also see that it um, made a new line within, uh, with its own ID. It started just now and it's uh, currently ongoing. So we can go back to the agent. Okay, so this is the, the third test case, I assume. And so there's one left. This is the last one. So once the, the fourth test case in this case is finished, it auto automatically sends the result back to Jira X-Ray and it will close uh, Cameo. And the agent will be waiting for his new, the new or next job. So you see Cameo is closing and it will be listening for a new job. If I go back now to Jira X-Ray, make another refresh. Okay, the test run status is, is uh, failed. So we see, okay, it's finished just now. Now we want to understand, okay, why is it failed? And you can go into more details and look at, okay, on each of the lines. So apparently the third test case has been failed because it didn't give the expected display message back. So of course, this is an important message for the development and the result is back. Thank you for listening and watching. I hope I could explain to you how functional testing works and what it is. Also why we need it so much now over all the test environments. And I hope I could bring to you what is the value of Cameo 5 within functional testing. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you and see you.